poor dad got himself covered in shite for nothing. So I'm going to get three courses in over there because I don't want to put too many in because that's still a lot of access in for the MOT and all that when we get onto this. So there we have it. That is the bottom of the Tuesday, Wednesday, 1st of June, and there's our little update for today. Um, yesterday we got all the trench in, got our corners up, uh, we didn't put our drain in yet but we're going to knock a hole through there for the drain. The drains were going to come through this way, they were going to go there, then they were going to go there, then they're going back there. So they're definitely going this side now, so they're going to come around there and back through there. Anyway, that's not today. <coughs> We're all loaded, mix is in. Alex has just put the last trench and a half in the end there, which we didn't have last yesterday. Brought them from home. <clears throat> so, profiles are up. Not, don't, don't use these as often as you used to. So they're ready to go. Corners up for the internal. This is the height for the internal. This is the slab. That is underside of insulation. So once we get set the doors out, which are four and a half brick each side and the rest of its door we're going to set the doors out and then this is going to be the height in the doorway if that makes sense so yes we're ready to go everything's cornered up and everything so no more cornering now profiles will just follow up and we'll get cracking So this is day five. It feels like day 100. <laughs> we, um, yeah, the dig was an extra day and obviously the um, this is an extra day for the up to DPC because it's deep. It's the same as a house, two trench, two block and a brick on the inside, two trench and seven face on the outside. So it's a lot more to it than you think. So hopefully we'll get this levelled up today, ready to start getting that inside prepped, which we can do tomorrow, which is bank holiday. Yeah, Friday. Well, it's, well we're off tomorrow. You're off tomorrow, at least. And my wife. Funeral. And your van. Seventh. Funeral's the seventh. Oh. It's only the second tomorrow. It's a week tomorrow. Oh. Oh, we're off tomorrow. Look at that. We're off the day after, because we can't... We, our next job after this is concrete, so... In fact, we need to ring the concrete company up and get it booked in so we can have it prep ready because we, we need it the first day back after the bank holiday weekend and then we're away then once that slab's in. Same, same as always, once the slab's in, we're, we're quids in. We've got a nice big area to work on. So that's enough waffling. Let's get some brick work done.
Right, and there's them um, course of block and brick set in and that is going to be the bottom of the door so the door's going to be set on top of that there we go it's not long enough but and we've marked out here i've got our mark over there that's where the door that's where the door starts so we've got that marked up we're going to wait till the bricks go in first because obviously that needs to be a return so once the bricks are in we can get that return in properly then that will be set out um yeah, so in the meantime, I'm going to make a start over there. You can just see I've got a new stack of brick ready. So I'm going to get three courses in over there because I don't want to put too many in because that's still a lot of access in for the MOT and all that when we get onto this. So I'm going to get a few bricks and block laid out down there and Dad's going to make a start getting this sorted out. He's, uh, he's going to get this chopped down a little bit, make some room for the pipe to go through and we should be sailing. So, that's a little update so far. I don't want to jinx anything because it looks very grey, but it's stopped raining for now. But, get your sit back up. Right, we've had a quick break, it started raining again. Um, Alex is just on that side. He's traced the bond through and it works brick, don't it Al? Works brick. Works brick, lovely. Which is good because that's going high up that with a pike on it. So he's he's just gone that side, fettling about while I get this pipe in. This isn't ideal, but with its in surface, it's all we can do. Um, the gully's got to go here because it's got to connect onto that. Sorry, that's got to connect into it. That downspout there, which used to come across the door there, and into the old gully, which is here. Here. So we're putting this in here, that connects into there, and then Robbie's going to bring his downspout uh, either down here and round, or round and down. Yeah, there you go. Uh, there's another roof there. So, gutter here. Yeah, they'll probably take it round and down there. Anyway, that's for Robbie to sort out. So I'm just getting this in now. So that gun is going to go in the corner there. I've just marked my piece here. I think it's, um, I'll uh, double check it. Mark, <laughs> measure twice, cut once, because I've forgot what measurement it was. I think it was 990. Right, that's that little hiccup done. Well, not a hiccup, but it's just we had to stop brickwork to get it done. So we've cut through there. Um, I might need to go over there a bit. Yeah, we've cut through the wall. Th that block where self supporting, there's enough block work over the top of it. That's going to get pushed through a bit more. It's all got to fall on it, and I've just put a whole bucket of water down, it no leaks. So I'm happy with that. So now we can start getting the brickwork back in here now and get cracking because we've got seven cores to go in here today. So yeah, all we've done with that is we've just moved the gully from where it was here, out to here, because it was there in the corner. And it's been taking that downspout off the back of the extension. So, so that's it. I'll leave you for now and we'll carry on with the bit work.
Um, time is it, Al? No idea. Oh. It's one past two. It's five to three. Not bad. So, and that's it. That's what we're up to. Profile's coming off because we've got a good load on there. We can get the profile out of the mud, get that backfill nice and level. I'm going to backfill along here so it's nice and level because it's a bit rough underfoot. And we're going to, we've got hour and a half. We're going to be away from here for half four today. We're going to be here late today. Kenobi. Yes, Kenobi tonight. So we're going to start. Um, yeah, oh yeah, Alex has just finished off the, um, the door returns inside, right, as you can see. Getting now. The brick there you can see the commons is a oh, hardcore level. So the flag's out hardcore in. I've got to say I'm gonna have about two ton left over. What we'll do is we'll fill the cavity up as well with stone out if we've got any left. Yeah, and just yeah, keep the happy stones as well if we need be. Yeah. Yeah, and that's it. So we're gonna we're gonna get onto this slab now, tidy up and um get ready for prepping the slab. We'll have to see what we'll have to ring up see if we can get some concrete for it anyway. So, uh, yeah, catch you in a bit. So you can see a little bit from my perspective now, with uh, definitely put a good dint in it today. Obviously, as I'm sure as Dad said, that's staying down so we can get our stuff through. And then we can get that up once the once it's ready for concrete. Until then, we're gonna keep it down so we can ramp in. But, what I wanted to show you, well, what Dad wanted to show you, there you go. Uh, this has been blocked, you can see why. <laughs> so we've exposed the gully. Down spot goes straight into it, so we're going to clean this all off, see if we can reuse it. I'm pretty sure we can. I think it's only leaking because it was full, so it just overflows and comes over. And then we're going to have to take these back until we find a decent pipe. Because it, it turns in, it turns in about there. Well, you listen that. It does a turn there, so we'll just keep taking these back until we get a good pipe. Um, and it's female first, so we'll see how we get on. If, if we can't cut it and put a band seal over it, we've got two band seals, we'll get one of the uh, pushing fittings like we did the other day, get another of some screw fix and just do pushing, which is probably easier anyway. So um, yeah, while Alex is smashing things over there, I'm trying to find, try and get this thing repaired today, hopefully, and then we can backfill and everything, we've got somewhere nice to work, a bit wider to get in and out of, all that will be backfilled, it's going to be great, we can backfill right up to the, so um, yeah, that's it for now. Oh, I might just put on time lapse. Where should we put? What should we time lapse? Everything. Yeah, should we get from that angle? Yeah. So, two loop.
Right, and that's us for right. today. And Dad's just uh, sponging up. Well, some unfortunate news. The gully itself was broke, so poor Dad got himself covered in shite for nothing. But, well, I suppose at the same time, it's a good job he did that. Although we wouldn't have known it was broken. But the actual return part on the gully was broke, so just means we're going to have to get another one from Screwfix and then get another uh, pop-in connector. So... It's one of them things, isn't it? At least we know. But at least we've made some progress. Tomorrow then is going to be all about getting that pile of crap moved, all the flags out, all the MOT in, get the sand in, the visqueen, you know the you know the song and dance. So we'll get that finished off, and we'll think concrete's booked for Tuesday. So we've got plenty of time to get all this prepped in. Tuesday, if you'll fit us in Monday, you will. Okay, so possibly Monday, but either way, that gives us a good bit of time to get this sorted. So, so next time you see us, it'll be tomorrow. So, catch you then. Yeah.